the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love me and the fame. fame, fame, fame. What up, Elite Fam? Charles Macro jumping back in the fishing planet. All right, guys, today we have a hot spot video. If you're trying to catch those channel cat fish, I'm going to show you the spot, what gear you need, and what bait you can use. And I got some bait that isn't on this list, guys. All right. Now, if this video helps you, hit that like button, subscribe, share this so others can check it out. Hit me in that comment box, guys. Let me know if it worked for you. Let me know what your biggest catch was with this technique. All right, guys. Also, if you're trying to catch the small mouth buffalo, I have the new spot, guys. It is a hot spot. It will work over and over again. If you say my past video right here, they did nerf this spot a bit. It works, but it's very infrequent. I found the new spot and I found the new bait to catch smallmouth buffalo over and over again. Now for gear when catching catfish, the easiest way to catch them is with feeders, floats is next, and you can spin fish, but feeders are the best. If you're early, I would go with the Big Ali 1410. That's a six and a half to 19 and a half, basically 20 pound ride, all right? Then you can use the Prima 3500. I use the Prima 3500 because it makes the max drag be 10 pounds. You wanna use Fluoro 0.012 is fine. It's a 12 pound test. You can use braid but fluoro is thinner, so it doesn't scare the fish as easily. Use a three and a half ounce sinker. That'll be good for this weight. Also use a leader, the 11 pound leader, that's fine. You wanna use a number two hook. The first bait I suggest you try is pet food. Pet food works great. Then small cut bait and leeches. They all work as well. Some of the other suggested baits are large cut bait and blood. They do work. Now for catfish, you don't need a license. I always get my advanced license just in case you catch something else like the spotted bass because you could potentially get one of those, but you don't need the license at Lone Star to catch the catfish. That is one good thing. All right, guys, so what you wanna do, you wanna jump in at Dam Road, which is right here. Once you enter, there is a path that comes down this way to this fence. We wanna get behind this fence on this road, all right? That's where we're gonna go. So let's jump on in. Now, once you come in right here, you're gonna wanna turn right, go right up through this opening in the fence. Come on down, come on down, come on down. Ugh. Well, here I come. You'll see this fit, uh, this big tree right here. Once you pass that tree, you're gonna go a little bit further and we're gonna set up right here in this area. Right where you can kind of see the house, the trees, and see where people usually stand to fish. Now, if you do have a stand, you can set it up through the fence. And I'm gonna show you the coordinates of where we're going to cast. As you see, I have markers. So I'm gonna go ahead and cast the three rides. If you have a stand, even if it's one, two, three, or none, you can hold it, but you wanna cast right here. I use hook number two. You can use even the one or one odd. You should be okay. So we wanna place that down right there. Let's get out our next line. We're gonna throw that one right here. Really anywhere in this area will be fine, but I'm gonna show you on the map, the coordinates. And here's our pet food. Uh-oh, we already getting a hit, guys. We already getting a hit. Let's see what do we have here. What do we have here? Bam, Young Channel Catfish already straight out the gate. What'd it take, like five seconds? Check that out. Check that out. Now, that is on the small cut bait. I have one more bait I'm going to show you guys, all right? But just want to show you that these do work. And it's early in the morning, and it's still working. It's peak early morning works, later in the evening works. I have a lot of good results early morning. Now, when we look on the map, the coordinates are negative 24 by negative 5.9, which is basically negative 6. So anywhere in that area, negative 26, negative 25, in this deep area right here, you will catch catfish all day long. This is the catfish spot. This used to be the spot for these smallmouth buffalo, and sometimes you will catch them if you use semolina balls or something of that nature. Now, what I'm going to do is change these leeches. I fished here with corn. Man, I caught like 20, 30 catfish. They were just back to back to back jumping on the line. Corn is a very good bait for catfish. All right, and we got another hit, another hit. Do, 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 do. Now, this one is on pet food. Bam, another catfish. The pet food is jumping. Pet food is doing really well right now. So use that pet food. But again, corn, uh, leeches. Let's see what we have here. This is on the small cut bait. And that's another one on small cut bait. And here we go. We got another one on the same ride. It was actually still in my hands. I heard it ringing thinking it was another one. And I put it back in the stand. And look at that. They both going off. Check that out. Check that out. That one a little heavy. 
Check this out. Check this out. Oh, and bam, we got a smallmouth buffalo. That's a bonus for y'all. I'm throwing that one in there. The smallmouth buffalo on corn. Yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir. That's a bonus right there. Don't tell nobody. Make sure you watch the smallmouth buffalo video that's coming up because it's another bait that I'm actually using. But corn does work too. I actually did some research. Real life smallmouth buffaloes are attracted to corn. And as you see, you can still catch the smallmouth buffalo right here. All right, we got another hit, guys. We got another hit. Man, these catfish is ten. And another one on this pet food. Check that out. They be on that pet food real nice. Look at that. Back to back to back. You need that catfish. We got that catfish, baby. All right, bam. We got another hit on this corn right here. And as you can see, corn catches catfish as well. There have been times where I caught just over and over tons of catfish with corn. We got another hit. We got another hit, guys. Check that out, guys. We got a catfish on peas. Peas work, corn work, and you'll catch some smallmouth buffalo here and now and then. All right, guys. So as you can see, we caught a ton of catfish. Pet food is one of the top bait that you can use. Small cut bait is a close second. Then you can try some random things like leeches, corn, peas. They help, and they do catch another one of those special fish. Make sure you hit that like button if this helps you. Like, subscribe, share this so others can check this out, guys. And hit me in that comment box, guys. Let me know if this helps you. Let me know what bait you use. What's your top bait for catching these channel catfish? All right? And be on the lookout for that smallmouth buffalo video that's about to drop as well, guys. All right? Charles Macro, Fishing Planet. Thank you for stopping through. And I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I run the game, I run the game, I run the, I run the macro, my name, I run the game, I do this for the love, they love money and the fame, fame, fame.